So I'm sure you guys have recently been hearing about a company called GameStop and how these Reddit users took on Wall Street and beat them. You're probably hearing a lot about it on the news, social media, from your friends and your family and either have no clue what's going on or have some sort of an idea but want some clarification. Also, you're probably wondering if you're missing out on this whole thing because there's just so much buzz around it. And it's kind of like Bitcoin and how everyone thought they should be buying it. And if they didn't, then it was their loss. Well, this has never happened before. It's the first time in the history of the stock market that I think this has ever happened. So in this video, I will try to explain what all this buzz is about. And also, if you're wanting to buy GameStop shares here in the UK, then I'll provide you some top tips on how you can do that. Also, I'll provide you some alternative stocks because it's just not GameStop that this is happening to now. This is a trend that's caught on to other stocks and so you may be better off buying them instead of GameStop. Okay guys, as always, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to check out more videos on investing, trading and saving money. Right guys, if you already know what is happening and you just want to skip to the buying part, then in the video description below, there's a timestamp so just hit that and you can skip this. If not, let's continue. So what is GameStop? So GameStop is an American company who sell video games and equipment. So PlayStation games, Xbox games, PC games, etc. So it's an actual physical store all over America where you can go in and buy games, trade games, etc. So what's actually going on then? Well, during the pandemic, retail businesses like GameStop have obviously been badly affected as people are not going to the stores and buying games. Also, there's a trend shift where more and more people are buying digital games online. So much like back in the day when uh, Blockbuster was selling DVDs and Blu-rays and then Netflix came along and essentially ended the need to ever buy a physical disc. The same thing is happening in the gaming industry. However, people still do like to own physical games on a disc for many reasons, like sharing it with your friends or trading it in to buy another game, something you can't really do if you own a digital copy. So GameStop still has a chance to do business when the pandemic is over. So what has that all got to do with the stock market? Well, there are these Wall Street companies known as hedge funds out there who are heavily short selling GameStop shares. That basically means they are betting that GameStop will suffer more and more as a business and won't be able to recover and as a result their share price will fall further. If that does happen then these hedge funds will make a lot of money and since they are putting a lot of money into short selling these stocks they stand to profit a lot if GameStop continues to struggle. So it's in their best interests for GameStop not to recover and it also indicates to other investors, other traders out there that GameStop is not a good stock to buy and just to sell or not buy them at all. Short selling is a very common way these hedge funds make money. You may think it's immoral that they are making a ton of money from others who are struggling, but it happens all the time and most of the time nothing can be done. It's the same old story. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. But a group of people from a web forum called Reddit known as Wall Street Bets had other ideas in mind. They were not about to let these hedge funds get away with what they were doing so they decided to get together and encourage people on social media to start buying GameStop shares, therefore creating a huge demand for GameStop. If people start buying the shares then the share price will go up okay and that means these hedge funds that betted the share price will go down all of a sudden find themselves on the losing end. Now they are the ones losing money as GameStop shares surge higher and higher. What then happened is even crazier. Retail investors, just like me, okay, who first started rushing into buying these stocks, start to make an absolute killing. All these people were making a ton of money. Everyone was making money except the fat cats on Wall Street. Then you had people like Chamath and Elon Musk with huge social media followings egging it on even more by tweeting what was happening and then it got so out of hand that trading platforms started to crash, brokers started to stop people from buying the shares, they started to restrict the shares and in some cases people weren't even able to open a trading account or even log on to the existing one. Now this whole thing may not last very long as the government and the regulators could step in to put a stop to it but a lot of us are going to try and ride this wave while we can. Now, if you're thinking about buying this stock, then please, please, please only invest money that you can afford to lose because at this stage, it's just a gamble. Okay, now let's talk about how you can buy this stock here in the UK. Right guys, so if you want to buy GameStop shares, um, there are obviously many platforms for you to choose from. Uh, my favorite one, which I always talk about, is Trading212. Now, Trading212 did have some problems last week 
as did many other worldwide um, broker platforms. Okay, we they all had problems last week. The the demand, the surge, the, the, the traffic flow um, um, that was required for for these apps to to handle. You know, it it just couldn't be done. So a lot of servers were down. A lot of companies. So we had trading two and two that was down for for some time. We had free trade which actually stopped offering any US stock okay and um, last week at some point then we had IG which had server problems um but some of the other brokers like Hargreaves, Lansdowne, I think they were okay, but there are some others that were okay. But the majority of the ones that, that, that retail investors like you and I use um, were down with some server issues. And um, Robinhood back over in the US, and um, they had major issues. They they stopped um, um, and people from actually buying the stock at one point. Um, so they, 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 there was a lot of problems there. Trading 2 and 2 also actually did stop people from buying GameStop shares. Okay, so this happened, I think, and on on thir was it Wednesday or Thursday? I think Wednesday they stopped their game. They only allowed people to sell or close a position, which caused obviously the share price to drop. But there were there were a lot of problems last week, and we we just didn't know which way to go. We didn't know what to happen. But the moment the the GameStop shares start to come back into play, people just start buying it again. So I'm hoping this will just continue to next week. But guys, now when it comes to actually buying it, this can get very, very tricky. Now we are seeing some extreme volatility. I mean, if you look at some of the pre-market values of GameStop, it's like up 100%, up like 60%, 70% at some point. So how on earth are you supposed to buy this stuff when it come, when the, when the market opens? So one of the things I would very, very recommend you guys do is make sure you never, ever make a market order. Okay, so what do I mean by market order? So market order is if you go into the app, let's say Trading212, you go on, if you pick GameStop and you say buy, and you buy, let's say, do a thousand pounds worth of shares, and then you just print, you know, you just hit buy. What would happen is that would go as a market order. You go into like a queue, and the platform will try its best to try and execute that order. Now you have no idea what price you're going to get, so I'll complete. I'll stay away from doing that completely. And at this volatility, you could just get some crazy prices that you never intended, okay? And you could be put into a very, very bad position. So only, only do limit orders, okay? So go to limit option, select how much shares you want to um, you want to buy, and then select the exact price, okay? So. You know, if for example you see the market open and it's bouncing between three hundred dollars and four hundred dollars, so it keeps going from like three hundred to three fifty, back down to two eighty to four hundred, which is what we actually seen. Okay, so try to get a price or try to set a price which is closer to the lower end of that range. Okay, so maybe at three hundred, three ten, and that way um, the platform will try to execute that order exactly, and you'll get that exact price you wanted. Okay, so before I end the video, I did mention that I would um, provide you some alternative stocks to GameStop. Now, GameStop is just one of the stocks that um, hedge funds were short selling and then the Reddit guys came along and, you know, obviously rebelled, okay? That's just the only stock. There are others out there, guys. There are others that people haven't really caught on yet. So AMC, which is a cinema company over in the US, is one. But AMC has got so much coverage now, similar to GameStop, that it's red, red hot at the moment. So maybe that's not as good as some of the other ones. So we've got AMC, we've got another company called cost we've got some others i've got a full list here okay so guys go check those out because they are not being restricted by any of these platforms yet so when the volumes and the traffic does start going crazy they might get restricted so they might be a better option right now than you know trying to buy gamestop or mc